Hi, Lou. Hey, Ted. How are you? I'm just great. Good to see you. And uh, I understand you had a big event this weekend and Nick Sadoti was there. We, we had an awesome event, Ted. And I will tell you that you rocked the house. There is no question about it. That's the reason I wanted to do this opportunity to let other people that weren't there know about you because it was Thank just you. amazing what occurred in the room, how excited people were about the experience that you have. Uh, you know, someone who has been there, done that for decades and absolutely has mastered your profession. I think it's it's only incumbent on me to allow my people to learn from you because you are truly a master. You've been there in terms of tax deeds, tax liens, tax deeds for so many decades. And I've known that, I've learned from you, and it's been very, very valuable for me and my family. We've invested in tax liens and deeds. And I wanted to take this opportunity just to ask you some really great questions that I've spent some time putting together here that uh, I think um, I think everybody is going to be interested in. I don't want to take a lot of your time. I want to just kind of gather up some thoughts and information because what was profound for the people that were at my event this past weekend was that there's another way to invest in real estate. And it's it's kind of a, a very simple and easy from your computer, from the comfort of your home or on your cell phone that you can invest all over the country. And you can tie in what we do in our business of finding buyers before you buy, of putting people into properties, putting the deeds into trust. There's just so many things that you and I do that so align and adding to it the opportunity to be able to invest all over the country, anywhere in the country, and not just one location. So I thought, hey, let's take the best of what we do, let's add it to the best of what you do, and really give some people some insight on some things they probably don't know. And guys, if you do know about tax liens and deeds, you're definitely going to pick up some valuable information in this little interview that I've got put together for Ted. So I thought, I'd, I, Ted, this is going to be rapid fire. This is going to be like 10 questions just to just to trigger you and uh, and also expose you, quite frankly, to my people that you have so much talent. You have so much background in this, and I think it's important for them to know that. So first of all, let's take a moment just to have you introduce yourself and tell them who okay. you are and where you're from. And I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. You know, Lou, we go back a long time. I used to have black hair. I That's black right. Hair and, and I was skinny. Me too, my yeah, yeah, so things changed a little bit, but uh, <laughs> we're still out there doing, uh, making money and everything together. So that's kind of fun. So uh, welcome to you and welcome to the audience. And folks, I don't know you guys yet, but uh, I'll get to know you over the next uh, few minutes while we while we talk. But I've been in the tax lien and tax deed business for over 30 years, and I started out as an investor. So I started buying tax lien certificates. Then I learned about tax deeds. Then I became sort of a mentor and a guide. And then the next thing you know, I started creating distance learning materials. And so uh, I travel the world and do this uh, now with COVID. I got to sit on my rusty dusty. I don't have to work so hard, uh, but uh, pr the presentation and some of the things you'll hear today, I do in Singapore. I did it in, do it in Australia, Sydney and El Melbourne, Australia, even do it in Bangkok, Thailand. So if you can imagine, I don't know if you ever saw a name from someone from Thailand, but it's about that long. And so you, I only call them by the first three letters, but yeah. So, uh, so let's just get right into, um, if you have some questions, that's the best way because they'll get the most out of it. So, I'm glad you wrote them down because then we won't go ooh ah ooh ah. Got a lot of oh, notes. So you got them all written up. So I let's put go them for on it. My phone here, so I could just pull them up very quickly. And and as I come up with questions for you, I'm putting them into my phone. So uh, the first thing I've got for you is you are in unusual business, Ted. And most people don't know about what you do. And I'm sure that people believe that uh, your students that have been able to get incredible returns on their investments, you know, that it's, it's, a, uh, it's an unusual thing. So can you tell, tell us a little bit about what you do okay. and how you do it? I will. And I'll actually even put up a little slide that uh, shows you that. 
Every property in the United States has a tax. Now, you guys know that because you're real estate people. And if you get a real estate tax bill, you know, sometimes it's as long as your arm. You know, so you get this big bill for all that. Well, most of the people pay their tax, but the people that don't pay their tax, it's especially tough on the county at that point, because if the county doesn't get the tax, how are they going to pay the police department, the fire department? How are they going to take care of the hospital? How are they going to take care of the school teachers? So what they do, in, if you think of the United States, think of all 50 states, about half of the states, about half of them sell what's called a tax lien certificate. Now, that's just a piece of paper like I'm holding up now, just a piece of paper like that. The other half of them actually confiscate the property. And when they confiscate the property, they take the property away from the property owner. They evict the property owner and any tenant that's there. And then they sell the property at auction. So there's really two businesses here we're going to learn today. And one is tax lien certificates, where you invest with the government, you get a check back from the government. So that's safe and secure. So if you're an old guy like me with a white hair, you got a retirement plan, perfect for IRA, perfect 401, perfect for your savings plan, because you can make, listen to these returns, and I'll repeat them later on. In Arizona, 16%. In Florida, 18%. In Iowa, 24%. 36% in, in the state of Illinois. So huge returns on tax lien certificates. However, we're probably entrepreneurs. Okay, most of my people are entrepreneurs, probably yours too. So your people really know how to manage property and do rentals. They're going to love this because now we're buying rental properties for just the back taxes. We're not paying too much. We're buying for back taxes. So when the county doesn't get taxed, they don't get the money, they go out and they confiscate. Think about that. They actually take the property away. So New York, California, those states, they take the property away from the property owner and then they resell it. Now, this is hard to believe. They resell it for the back taxes. And later on, when you have time, I'll even show you pictures of the lists of these auction properties. There's thousands of these across America. Two million tax defaulted properties a year. Can you imagine such a thing? It's amazing. Wow. So can you tell us, uh, Ted, how tax lien certificates work? You know, I've invested in them for years, but I want everybody to understand this. Okay. All right. So the local government, if they don't get paid, they're going to issue tax liens. Now, while I talk, I'm going to go off of this camera and I'm going to go onto a camera that's on my desk. All right. Now, what we're looking at, we're just looking at a newspaper from Jacksonville, Florida. All right. So what really happened in Jacksonville is a lot of people did not pay their taxes. Stay on this camera, Kim, okay? Uh, a lot of people didn't pay their taxes. And this is actually a list of all the people that didn't pay their tax. Now, when they didn't pay their tax, the local government announced all of this in the newspaper. This newspaper that I'm going to show you right now has 140 pages in it. It's got 32,000 tax certificates just in Duval County, which is Jacksonville, Florida. This is the list of all the people that didn't pay their tax. And it gives the property number. And so what would happen is when the people didn't pay the tax, they announced in the newspaper that they're going to sell a tax certificate. Now, why did they sell a tax certificate in Jacksonville? Because the local county in Jacksonville, you can go back to a regular camera now, the local, local county did not collect the money from 32,000 different homes. So they need money. So they're going to sell a piece of paper called a tax certificate. And they'll sell it to you, Lou, or Ted, or anybody who wants to buy it. And in Florida, you can earn up to 18% on that certificate. So now that's a good deal. Why is that a good deal? Because you don't invest with Ted Thomas. You don't invest with Lou Brown. You invest directly with the county, and you're going to get your check back from the county. So you invest with the county. Money comes back from the county. That makes it predictable, certain, and secure. I bought tax certificates, people that did not pay their taxes. I pay their taxes. I paid around $6,900, just shy of $7,000. I got 18% of my money. I just got redeemed in December, and I got $1,890 back, which is 18% on your money. Where in the economy of today with the banks and the mutual fund, are you going to get 18% of your money? It's not going to happen. Now, every property in the United States has a tax. In Jacksonville, Florida, 32,000 people didn't pay. I can show you other ones. I won't take the time now. We'll show you on, later on when we do another video. I'll show you other ones like Tampa, Florida would have 40,000. Miami would have 60,000. And I'm just talking about one state. So there's, in the United States, there's about 1,500 counties that just sell tax lien certificates. The other counties 
What they do is they confiscate, they take the property away. Now, anytime you hear about a tax certificate, here's what you need to know. You need to know that that state is very benevolent. Why is that state benevolent? Because they don't kick the people out. You see, if they issue a tax certificate, the people stay on the property, but they owe taxes and they owe it to you because you have the first lien on the property. The first lien is before the mortgage, before the mortgage. That means if the people don't pay, here's the beauty of tax certificate. If you get what I'm going to say now, you can start getting rich. Listen to this. If those people don't pay their taxes and you own the certificate, you get the property without a mortgage. The mortgage is X'd out. It's gone. So you get the property without a, so people, they raise their hand, they buy that certificate and they go home and pray that the people don't pay because they'll get the property with no mortgage on it. Can you imagine that? Now we make fun of it, but you get my idea, right? That's the way it works. They've been, this has been around for 200 years. I didn't invent it. I just learned how to teach it. Well, you know, it is, it's a hidden secret and there's usually just a handful of people that know that secret in those counties. And what's fascinating is, uh, you know, the big counties, there's a lot of people that know the secret. And in the small counties, there's almost nobody that knows the secret. And what I've discovered is that a lot of those tax lien certificates do not even have bidders. They, nobody right. is even bidding for those things. And they're just sitting there and the county's going, please come buy my tax lien certificate because we need the money for county operations. So You're it's absolutely right. really exciting to know that there's so many of these uh, counties, as you were just sharing, so many of these counties all over the country. Oh my gosh, it, it is, it, it's a game changer, I think, for a lot of people to know that. Now, you have talked about the tax liens. Talk, us, talk to us about tax defaulted property. Okay, so half of the states will sell tax liens. So in the state of of uh, Florida, they're going to sell those tax liens. All right. So now let's, let's take another state that just sells tax deeds. All right. So let's use North Carolina, just an example. So in North Carolina, if the people don't pay their tax, what the county does is they'll send them notice after notice after notice. And we know that is called, it's called due process of law. And that simply means they're going to send those notices out. And then that's just a, a registered letter that says, if you don't pay your tax, this is the consequence. And the consequence is that the county will confiscate the property, they will remove the owner, and then the county doesn't want the property. They don't want it. So they auction it. I'm going to show you a list of that. I'm going to show you one. I'm going to show you one for Los Angeles. I'll show you one for in, in, in New York. All right, these are tax lists in the state of New York. This is going to be Dutchess County, which is very close to New York City. And this is an auction list there. And they actually put the properties. I'll put that down so you can see it. So these are the properties. So the county has now confiscated all those properties. And they made a little brochure. You can see they had 113 of them available. And there's pictures of all those. They're going to sell those properties. They're going to sell those properties for just the back taxes as the starting bid. Now, if you go and I go, you bid, I bid, the bidding will go up, of course. But it's going to start at the back taxes again with no mortgage. Can you imagine buying properties with no mortgage? So half of the states sell them that way. California does that. When I show you later some California list, you'll be in shock. Hundreds and hundreds of properties are sold for just the back taxes. So you're getting the idea. So if people don't pay the tax, uh, one or two things are going to happen. In a tax lien state, they'll sell a tax lien. In a tax deed state, they'll sell a tax deed. Always wow. without the mortgage. Always no mortgage. So does that cover all the states now? Oh, well, you know, if you want to, uh, they have a unique system in Georgia, where the people can come back and redeem. So it's very much like a tax lien, but in Georgia, that happens to be my favorite state, as a matter of fact, <laughs> Georgia is my favorite and here's why. Because if I raise my hand and I buy a certificate, so I get the certificate, okay, it says I've got the deed to the property. Now, if the guy comes in to pay, now most people come in to pay their tax, by the way, 95, 97%, they come in and pay the tax. When he pays the tax, he's gonna pay the tax and he's gonna give me 20% Anytime in the first year, 20% return. Where am I going to make 20% in any market? I get 20%. What risk did I have? I either get the property or I get 20%. I'll buy those all day long. And, and I can certify this because I am in Georgia and I have been on both sides of that coin. 
I've been yeah. either the one that got the benefit of the 20% payout, or I've been the one because it slipped through the cracks that I had to pay it, or I was buying the property from a third party and I had to pay their taxes as part of the deal. And we had to pay the extra 20% on top of that. So definitely exactly. it's, it's an opportunity that you guys have that uh, is kind of like one of those hidden gems that's out there. Now, Ted, can you do all of this online? Well, everything today is online. So for the past five years, we teach people both ways. We teach you, I'm an old school guy, as you know. So we had to go to the auctions and do all that. Uh, we still do that. The one thing that's not online is you still have to look at the property. So you got to get someone to look at it. I, I don't tell people to buy property online. I tell them, go look at it. But all of the paperwork, all the auctions, I can sit right where I'm sitting now and buy properties in any county, all 3,000 of them, any county in any state in the, in the United States online. We can do everything online. We even teach people how to do that. We have regular classes every week. We have on -client, online classes in our office every week. That's yeah. great. Ted, is the government taking away someone's house? Oh, well, with a tax lien certificate, they're very benevolent. They tell the people, just stay there. Just stay there and pay your taxes. You know, maybe, maybe the people had COVID and they didn't pay the tax, but they've got another whole year to pay it or even two years sometimes. So they're not kicking people out. But with the tax defaulted states, if those people don't pay the tax, they notice them, notice them, notice them. That notice process can last anywhere from three to six months that they have to pay this tax. And then at that point in time, they have to do something because here's what we have to think about. Everybody wants to think of the county of being the bad guy, but who's going to pay for the hospital? Who's going to pay for the sheriff? Who's going to pay for the school teachers? All those bills have to be paid. So if everybody doesn't pay, then there's a big problem. So they'll confiscate that property and then they'll resell it to get it back on the tax roll. Now, Ted, I appreciate that. And that's a great explanation. So tell me, is this tax lien, tax defaulted business, is this complicated? Oh, that's the funny part of this. You know, people don't know about it and they listen to somebody at a, you know, a RIA club or something like that talking about it. Folks, the, if you're just hearing this right now, everything I'm talking about is 200 years old. All of this was invented when people couldn't read and write. They could not read and write. So this is really not a difficult business. Now, would I tell you to go out and do it without getting some training? Well, I'm not going to do that because I've been in the training business for the past 25 years showing you how, and we know how to make people make money with it. So I'm prejudiced. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah, if, if, I, I would say if two old guys like us can do it, <laughs> it's probably they can not do it. that That's right. That's better. Right. Yeah. I, I wrote this down. Hey, can can my customers actually make 25, 30, 30,000? Can they make that on a single deal? Well, he, here's the beauty of this business. We don't teach people to make five and 10 grand. We teach them, look, we're going to make our money, not when we sell. We're going to make money when we buy. So let's go to tax defaulted auctions. They're going to start at the back taxes. Now, if you can buy a property, and I'll show people later, if you can buy a property for 10 cents on the dollar, I know you can sell it for 30 cents on the dollar. Yeah. So we teach people, don't even get involved in the deal. Don't buy in unless you have an exit strategy. You know what you're going to sell it for. See, there's no hurry. And you're going to go to the auction. This is abundance. There is too many properties at these auctions. They never can sell all the property, ever. They're never going to be able to sell all the property. And so there's going to be too many. So we teach them to make twenty-five, fifty, or a hundred thousand dollars. Now, do some people not make the twenty-five? Yes, but this is a business for money investors. This is if you're a brand new student. Yeah, we can get you in, get you started for four or five thousand bucks. But you're going to have to learn how to go out and get money from your friends or take a course on it. Yeah, this is a money business. This is strictly the money, and you should make twenty-five and fifty thousand dollars on each deal. Well, that's pretty awesome and that's attractive. But a little guy, you know, somebody that's just saved up a nest egg and they've got some money that they can put towards this, can they get started with as little as say $500? You can buy, the smallest tax liens I've seen are in that range, four or $500. But now let's, let's be real honest with those people. If you buy a tax lien for $500 and it's got a 24% return, you're only gonna get $600 back. I mean, right. it's not much. Okay, so yeah, you can do that. I would tell you, take that money, think more about your education and think where you can learn how to make the bigger money. Uh, listen, the students today all over the United States borrowed for their education. You might have to do the same thing. 
Get educated so you can make real money. Don't spend 25 years working as a waitress when you can be the charge of the company. Amen. That's my point. You, know, you, you and I are on the same page there. We yeah. believe in education. We know education works. We know it's important and people should not be just kind of uh, getting a bit or a piece of information and hoping that they're going to be able to figure it out on their own, right. which is the right. biggest mistake you can make. So thank you for, for sharing that. Um, are you sure if the property owner does not pay the tax lien certificate that you do get the property? Absolutely. Uh, that's the law of the land across the United States. Uh, the, the government says it's a free country. Anybody can own land. Anyone can, can use the land. You can use it to, you can sell it. You can subdivide it. You can rent it. You can grow crops on it. You can do anything you want with the land. But there's one thing that you have to do. You have to pay tax. If you won't pay tax, then they're going to take the land back. They're going to evict you and they're going to put somebody else on it. The money to run the local government always comes from the land. All right, so yeah, the local government is the first government. It was, it's way before the federal government. It was way before IRS. It was way before the state. Anytime that land, remember they gave that land to those pilgrims. They gave that land to the pioneers. And they, they said, all you have to do is pay this minor tax. Tax is only 1%. It's small, it's not a big deal. You know, but some people just refute. Now keep in mind, everybody isn't a bad guy. If some people get sick, they're not gonna pay their bill. All right, that happens. All right, what if someone dies and doesn't have relatives? Well, that happens every day in America. What are you going to do with that property? Let it deteriorate and go to hell? No, you've got to get the property back into the marketplace. They'll bring the money back in by selling it, and then they have they have to. You have to have taxes, otherwise you can't have you can't have roads, you can't have schools, you can't have hospitals. That that's a good one. It's absolutely true, and that's the reason that they have to incentivize investors like us to come in and purchase those things. And when exactly. we purchase those things, hey, we're incentivized handsomely, you know, with right. in some states, 24, 36%, uh, it, you know, it's just tremendous opportunity. It's almost like you get paid or you really get paid. <laughs> you right. you make right. money or you really make money. It, it's That's it's right. kind of the thing. And, and with honesty and letting people know, look, I've been able to reverse tax liens before, but what was it? It was people who didn't know what they were doing. So I would look at the transaction that I'm trying to buy from someone else, and I would look at how they noticed and what they did with their tax liens and found that they had holes in their education. And as a result, I was able to reverse those. So this is where wow. the keys to the kingdom really are, the education and knowing what to do and knowing how to do it, knowing how the notices go and knowing that you've done your job. But it's, it's an amazing profitable business when you really focus on that particular area. This is a, this is a business people do two, two or three a year. That's all you're going to do. You, <laughs> you aren't any more than that. Now, the most I ever did was nine in a year, and it took me two more years before I got them all uh, in order and got them sold. So, it, yeah, and that, that was my business. Now, I prefer to buy high-end properties, so it takes a little, little, little longer because I'm going to tidy them up and whatever. But the, the point is, two or three deals a year, and you're humming. You're doing fine. And, and I'll show people that on video before we finish. Well, the higher end, right? The more you get paid if they don't pay. If 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 well, yeah, uh, if they do pay, rather, you make a higher interest rate. If they exactly. don't, you've got a higher yeah. value property. So That's right. it's, it's a win-win all the way across the board. And now the the final one that I've got for you today is uh, homeowner taxpayer won't pay the government. So what makes you think they're going to pay you, the buyer of the tax certificate? Okay. Now, we're going to be serious about it this time because last time we joked around. So here's what happens. I raise my hand. I buy the certificate. So I get this tax certificate. I take it home. I put it on my desk. Now, I bought it, and I thought I was going to make, uh, let's say I did it in Florida. I thought I was going to make 18%, but the guy doesn't pay. Well, if he doesn't pay, I notify the county. I say, look, you didn't pay. So guess what? The county said, all right, you can go ahead and foreclose and take the property. Okay, he didn't pay. So now I get the property. So I know when I buy a tax certificate, only two things can happen. One, I get paid. Number two, I get the property. So it's one or the other, and that's the law in every county. Now, you don't have to believe me or Lou or anybody that, that's a layperson like us, but you can call the county treasurer. 
they'll tell you that. You can call any official of the county and they'll, they'll back that up. But that's been the law of the United States for all 200 years that we've been here. And it works, it's the same law in every single state. It's hard to argue with that. <laughs> it's hard that's to exactly argue right. with longevity. Yeah. And yeah. boy, that's something that you and I both have. We've been into, right. you know, I'm over 40 years buying, holding, and selling property. Ted, how long have you been doing tax liens and deeds? I'm, a, I'm in this for 30 years, but you might remember before that, I was a foreclosure guy. Uh, matter of fact, I trademarked the name Mr. Foreclosure. I still own that in the trademark office, Mr. Foreclosure. But I wrote books on foreclosure. But, yeah, and I, I learned that the hard way by going to a few foreclosures. I don't do that anymore. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's uh, too much we, work, right? let's, let's button this. Let's button this one up. Folks, below me, below me, folks, is a little registration form. So let me tell you what we're going to do. Lou and I are going to do an event. Now, I can't teach you everything I know in one of these lessons. So we're going to do three or four of these, Lou and I, and we're going to send them to you. You can make it be mine. But below me is a registration form for that. So you can come and spend the whole day with me, and I'm going to charge you a whopping $47 for a whole day with Ted Thomas. So you're welcome to come to that. It's going to be on the 17th. Lou and I are going to button this tape up, but we'll be back with number two in just 24 hours. Yeah, baby. All right. So hopefully you've learned some things while we've been together. And if this is something that interests you, you definitely want to pay attention to it. You've got the opportunity to go ahead and sign up for it. We're going to be re rolling along with some more questions because I came up with a whole bunch of questions to ask Ted. So we're going to create from there. But certainly now is the opportunity to go ahead and get registered for it. Ted and I are going to be spending a whole day together going through this process. I love the process. I think it's something that you should consider in your world, certainly in your state, but also recognize that you can invest in these all across the country. Thank you, Ted Thomas, for being here. Thank you for the opportunity for us to learn from your amazing experience. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. There he goes. Good. This is life changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and, and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not, it's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property, and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. We for were in 11. a total for 11000 Both of those. And we rented Some that magic. at twelve twenty-five for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account.